With his saber drawn, Colonel Chamberlain led his men directly at the shocked men at the bottom of the hill. When they made contact and were fighting in close quarters, a Confederate officer took aim at Chamberlain with his revolver and just missed hitting him in the face. Before he could get a second shot off, Chamberlain raised his sword to the man's neck and asked for his surrender. The officer did surrender and gave Colonel Chamberlain his revolver. The men of the 20th were able to capture hundreds of Confederate soldiers and force the remaining men to retreat. The left flank was then reinforced by General Weed's men, thus ensuring no other Confederate attack would be attempted.